G'day there and welcome to this deep dive where you are going to learn how you can set the default metadata for your files in the files tab of your Microsoft Teams channels. Now, as we know, getting people to set metadata on files uh, in SharePoint and in Teams can be a little bit challenging, but we all know what the benefits are. So this little trick or this little deep dive that I'm going to show you is going to help facilitate um, the setting of metadata by setting some default values, making it easier for the people that are adding files. So let's just dump, jump in and have a look. You can see I'm on the SharePoint site that's sitting behind the Microsoft team. I'll jump into Teams and we can see that we have got three channels in the Prosware merger team. We've got the customer rollout strategy, media strategy, and our research channel as well. Each channel has its own files tab, okay? So I'll jump into customer rollout strategy, files, we've got a files tab there, okay? We've got a research channel here too, where we've got a files tab. All are folders inside of that document library in that SharePoint site. Just to recap, I'll jump into documents in the SharePoint side here, and we can see we've got our corresponding folders for each channel. Now, what if we had some metadata on this library? So I'm going to add a column, I'm gonna add a choice column, and I'm going to call this, let's call this document category, okay? So we'll say document category. Now I've got a couple of categories here. We're going to align them with our channels, okay? So I'll pop this as rollout. We'll also pop uh, a category of media and we'll also add one here called research paper, all right? So inside of our research channel, we're gonna store our research papers. I wanna tag that with, with research paper automatically when we upload documents. Same thing with our media channel. Whenever we upload a document, I wanna always set it to media as the value inside of that channel, all right? So I am going to save those, all right? So I'll pop into research. We can see that we've got our document category. Now I'm in SharePoint here. Let's jump into Microsoft Teams. We'll see the same thing, all right? So I'll jump into media strategy. We can see we've got our document category right there. Okay, now let's just jump into the library settings for a second, all right? So we'll jump into library settings. Now there is no default value on our document category column, right? So I'll jump into here. We can see we've got our document category, but we don't have any default value. Now, if we set a default value here, that would mean that any file in the library would get this default value, but that's not what we want, okay? We want different, val different default values based on the channel that we are in. So what we are going to do we are going to use what we call column default value settings. In the library settings, I'll click on column default value settings here, and I can see my folder structure, all right? AKA, that is the files tab of your Microsoft Teams channel. So I can say, right, in the media strategy channel, I want any new document that gets uploaded into this channel to have the default value of media, okay? So we will have a default value of media. Now, the same thing I'm going to set for research, all right? So remembering that we had a column, a choice value of research paper, so I want any document added to our research channel to be tagged with research paper and customer rollout strategy. I am going to set the default value here for to uh, rollout. Okay, so we've got our three channels. We've now set the value, the default values for each channel. So if I now pop into Microsoft Teams, what I will do is I am going to pop in to research, I'll go into files, I'll grab a file and I'm gonna drag and drop a file across into here and this document category all of a sudden is defaulted to research paper. But yet if I go to media strategy and I upload a, a document into our media strategy channel, then the default value is set to media. 
Same thing with customer rollout. We'll grab a document, we'll, we'll open the files tab, we'll grab a document, we'll move it across, upload it into our uh, customer rollout strategy, and you can see that I've got that default value set to rollout. So depending on what channel I am in, I upload files, I now have a default value depending on the channel that I, I am in. There we go, deep dive setting custom value, default values per channel inside of Microsoft Teams. You can do that in the SharePoint list settings. So I hope that brings you some value today. Thanks for watching and go and implement that right now.